Reporting for the Intermountain Christian News, I'm Dr. Anthony Harper here at the White House. I am blessed to be meeting with uh, Afghanistan journalist Nazira Karimi here at the White House. Yes. And, and so you've got a special experience, uh, your knowledge about what's going on in Afghanistan. Afghanistan. So please share with our viewers about what it's what, what you're seeing is happening in Afghanistan. How's it impacting you, you and your family and, and other people there? Thank you so much. Thank you, Doctor, for having me. Uh, it's a great and a strong moment for me to one more time. I am raising my voice for Afghan people, for my country, for especially suffered women. Yes, of course, I have a family. Uh, they are under a lot of problem. They are uh, under of uh, Taliban, uh, you know, torture. Although the Taliban has announced amnesty, and for general government and non-government uh, employees, but unfortunately they broke their commitment. And there is uh, many, many reports that Taliban punish everybody, men, women, kids and they found a database of uh, Afghanistan employee and that make me very sad and I heard about my family that they are hiding themselves from one place to the other and they changed their location and they punish people. Uh, it's really uh, sad for me as you are the witness every single minute people call me and they crying and they ask for help. They don't know that I'm an ordinary journalist, I'm nobody. I'm somebody that raised their voice at the White House, at the Pentagon, State Department, but I'm not the position to physically help people to get them out from Afghanistan. Of course, 38 million of Afghanistan people, they need help. They want to leave their belief, beloved country. No, although nobody like to live a beloved country, but this force, this is bad situation, and people are scared. Two reasons, doctor. You are a doctor, mm -hmm. you know better. One reason is uh, psychologically, Afghan people are, uh, are under a lot of pressure because they have a yes. negative experience from the uh, Taliban past experience, mm -hmm. 1996. The second one, it's really torture, physically abusing. And I'm concerned the Taliban uh, during this month, they say we are going to change. But I said, I doubt it because ideology never get changed. And I was so optimistic and I was so happy. See, I lose my voice. I lost my voice because of the situation. But one thing Taliban, one thing audience, that Afghan women never get stopped. Afghan women never give up. Afghan women fight for their, uh, their right and I am their voice, I am voice for voiceless Afghan people. You ask about the current situation, mm -hmm. as you mentioned, as you know, as we've been in the briefing. Uh, yesterday, ISIS-K, again, they show off, they, they, they show up. And I don't know where I've been hiding ISIS in this uh, past time. You know my uh, suggestion on why I'm upset because United States uh, signed agreement agreement in Doha with the Taliban, and the Taliban asked to release our prisoner, and Afghan government and United States uh, released their prisoner. What do you think? Where is the, the prisoner now? It's a big uh, challenge. It's a big problem mm -hmm. for Afghan people. Yeah. Among of those prisoners was uh, some uh, ISIS too. Now my question from Ms. Uh, Saki, uh, Jin Saki, that based on your opinion, Taliban and ISIS, they are enemy each other or they are friend each other? If they are enemy, of course, Al-Qaeda also has a relationship with the Taliban, then based on my experience and my knowledge, there will be another several war in Afghanistan soon that again Afghan people will sacrifice mm -hmm. oh, no, if so yes if they are friend and they are friend with the Al-Qaeda again these three groups uh, will be treat for American and international including Afghanistan in this uh, uh, situation Afghan suffered people one more time they will be suffering and they will be target for this several war 
and proxy war and right now I really do know what to share with you doctor because yes. my family yesterday at the airport they were so upset and they got injured I really do know they hate me they don't like me because they said because of your announcement at the Pentagon uh, Taliban still recognize them because I'm well-known journalist everybody know that who is Nazir Academy because I work very hard and my family blame me. I feel guilty. I'm so sorry, my lovely people. I'm so sorry. It's so painful about what you're going through. And uh, regarding this, uh, these ancient, uh, these these ri rivals between ISIS and Al Qaeda and uh, Taliban is is going to be resolved uh, very very uh, soon. But there's the issue of China, uh, China's involvement here, which yeah. hasn't been talked about very often, and how China is going to be benefiting off of this crisis somehow. How of do you course. see that happening? Of course, everybody wants to take advantage from my country. Mm -hmm. It's not a uh, war for something else, for generosity to oh, Afghan people. Nobody loves mm -hmm. Afghan people. Their war is for narcotics, opium, for mineral. We have mm -hmm. lithium, uranium. Right. The, those, this uh, is lithium. If Afghanistan earth, lithium minerals, was not yes. there, mineral, so many expensive and yeah. valuable mineral. Of course, China want to take advantage. Russia want to make advantage. Yeah. All the region country, they want to make advantage. But why Afghanistan people should sacrifice of that? That's my consideration. Yes, it's, it's terrible what you've been having to go through. We, we encourage people to pray for you, for you and, and everyone in Afghanistan, yes. for, for God to, to intervene and uh, bring uh, justice. Yeah, with the Taliban, because this, we pray this for the war right? doesn't have any logically and it, legitimate. It's not legitimate. Why? Why? Afghan people is tw more than 20 years, 40 years, as long as I remember we are involved mm -hmm. in a uh, proxy war. And we didn't get any advantage. We don't know why. We are, this is the uh, four or five generation that we sacrificed. They sacrificed for a proxy war in Afghanistan. So, so there's, a, there's a lot of blame people in Afghanistan you think are blaming the United States right now? Well, of course, if you have a breaking heart, if you have a pain, Afghan people right now have a pain. They are under a lot of painful mm -hmm. situation. They blame American, they blame everything, they blame themselves. Th yeah, they blame American. Why they support that uh, corrupt government? President, mm -hmm. former President Ghani was very corrupt. His system was corrupt. You know, all the friends is corrupt, was corrupt. Number one, they supported corrupt uh, president. Mm -hmm. Number two, uh, they left Afghanistan very soon. It was not the time because they knew that Taliban, Al Qaeda, Taliban is an international figure now. Figure or figure or I don't know. They were not uh, very famous. There was 73,000 people and Afghan forces was 300,000. How you compared as a doctor, as a journalist? Yeah. That's why they are a little upset that the United States should leave Afghanistan. Nobody likes somebody to be in their Afghanistan. Mm -hmm. Everybody wants to be independent. Everybody wants to stand on their feet. Mm -hmm. But step by step. Don't forget that. Step by step. But United States start sign agreement in Doha with the Taliban at this during three or two years but they give him a lot of credit Zal Khalil Zazal May Khalil Zat US representative in Afghanistan give a lot of credit to the Taliban and Taliban said that wow we are somebody now the Taliban 73,000 Talib as uh, President Biden said they are powerful they don't care about American, they don't care about China, whatever they want to do. Now mm -hmm. China want to be involved in Afghanistan to take a little advantage. Everybody come take advantage. Now this is China's or Russia or whatever. But my, 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 uh, like, com I mean, what my expectation also as a journalist, as an Afghan woman, United States left. Afghanistan very soon and was not fair time to leave. Yeah, we was talking earlier about China's involvement and how they're benefit they could be benefiting off of all this. And it comes from the Afghanistan people that China might have been involved with getting the Afghan army to withdraw so quickly. Yeah, L let me tell you something, doctor. Afghan people want peace. Mm -hmm. Afghan people is tired from the war. Afghanistan war is the longest war for the United States. Afghan people, especially women and kids and me, we are tired. We want peace. Whatever group 
what like or what bring peace in Afghanistan, we all accept it, welcome them. We will be very grateful, no matter who, China, Pakistan, Indian, Russia, United States, Bangladesh, Nepal. We need, we are really, really tired. We need peace. Mm -hmm. yes. But we have some conditions, some precondition. Mm -hmm. They shouldn't prevent women to continue their uh, achievement. Women achievement or women accomplishment be safe under Sharia law. Everybody know what's the Sharia law, but I don't understand Taliban uh, interpretation and uh, interpretation or the ooh, I don't know what is the mean of Sharia or Taliban Sharia law. But Sharia law is one issue, one Sharia law. I don't know Taliban one Egypt, yeah. Egypt Sharia law, mm -hmm. Saudi Sharia law. We are Muslim. Thanks God. I trust God. But we want whatever people bring peace they should keep our achievement they should not beat us women they should mm -hmm. not kill somebody no. we're gonna welcome no matter who yeah. because we are really 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 tired we need peace we want to continue Sh life is sh too short we want to be live rest of the life peacefully and but among of our people i am mm -hmm. tired somebody bombing somebody shooting Believe me, we are psychologically suffered a lot. I, I really, we really want to. It's so terrible. It's, it's been brought up here at the, at the White House about the abuse of the Taliban on the in these other extremist groups of women and children, especially uh, you know. And, and you talked about uh, women's rights and to be advancement or whatever. It's uh, the real concern that expressed uh, by reporters here is concerned about oppression over women that is greatly impacted by these extreme groups. Yeah, I don't know why everybody bring peace, uh, women. Mm -hmm. Everybody, all the, the fundamentalists, uh, the extremist group, they say women should do that, women should do that. Mm -hmm. They have another goal, just use mm -hmm. women's name. Right. They said we stop the pressure, they know. They don't keep the commitment. I doubted that somebody changed their uh, ideology. Uh, they said, oh, we, don't, we are not the old Taliban, we are new generation Taliban. I don't believe that because nowadays uh, I have a direct and connection, direct connection, connection with my people. They complain, they say a lot of things that I'm not able to share with you in front of the camera. Maybe one day is to keep all those things. Everything is going to be a memory. Mega dar guzargah zaman, ishqami miran, rang ha rang degar mi giran. و فقط خاطره ها چه شرین هن چه تلخ دست ناخورده به جا میمانه It means that during the time everything is go, everything is change bad memories, good memories or bad memories is gonna be on your heart never goes away That's why we remember Taliban's on 1996 but now if they are really change welcome Taliban I'll be in Afghanistan one day and I'll interview you, promise you, believe me that I will not say any zero negative things about you guys. But I hope you keep your commitment, change yourself, don't bother women. Woman is very sensitive, woman is very kind, woman is beautiful, woman is a mother, woman is a ha uh, wife, woman is a everything. Around the world you cannot be without, if woman was not there, how come you the, the, the created Taliban as a mother, Taliban as a sister? I hope this is my message. This is not only my message. This is billion of Afghan women, 38 Afghan, 38 million Afghan people want peace, and they begging you to the United States, to Taliban, to any extremist group that leave us alone, Afghan, leave us alone. Leave alone Afghanistan. Please, please, please. That's my message. Yes. And, and, and how is your voice being heard here at the White House? Well, amongst journalists, uh, with, with the press secretary, you feel like you, uh, your, your concerns uh, Af as an Afghanistan journalist are being paid attention to very well here. Everybody, uh, uh, first of all, thank you very much for everything. The people of America are very generous. Thank you for United States support during this 20 years, past 20 years. Mm -hmm. Appreciate for the journalists, appreciate for you, doctor. You are so generous. You always pray for Afghanistan. Uh, Afghan people never forget it. But the uh, journalist was very uh, nice, except a few of them that they treat me bad. And it's okay, it's okay. I keep the bad, good memories and bad memories. But I ask uh, Jinsaki, 
and she was nice and she answered the question and uh, my question but I'm sat not satisfied for those questions because uh, it is kind of something but one more time uh, thank you so much for your time it's uh, I this you know this is very strong and important uh, mm -hmm. the minute for me that one more time I'm raising my voice billion of Afghan suffered voice that Afghan people they are brave they are uh, like out, outstanding they never leave some stranger people to damage their right to take their achievement we all stories approve that who is Afghan people who is Nazira Karimi who is uh, like uh, Afghan brave people promise you remember that that Afghanistan not will be you know for the proxy war nobody can use Afghanistan Afghanistan is very very hysterical country we have a rich culture we have a rich story we have a wonderful and brave people but thank you so mm -hmm. much for your time doctor well just to let you know that uh, uh, many of our viewers are praying for you and for all of Afghanistan praying for God's protection uh, for, for help and protection from uh, Taliban and all these extremist groups that this abuse will stop and that there will be peace. We'll keep praying for that. And, Thank uh, you. So I am blessed to be meeting with uh, Afghanistan journalist Nazira Karimi here at the White House. And this is a very uh, em emotional issue uh, for so many uh, people and uh, what, what you have experienced and people in Afghanistan. So please pray for Nazira and everyone in Afghanistan for protection and for God's help in this Thank matter. you. One more thanks, audience. Nazira Karimi is not weak lady. I'm very strong journalist. I have a lot of experience. I am very brave journalist that nowadays, but nowadays I look very weak because I miss my beloved country. I'm crying for my country. I cried and show my emotional at the Pentagon because I love my country. I love my flag. I love mm -hmm. my people. I love my history. But don't think that Nazira is weak. I am very strong journalist. I am very professional journalist. I work for BBC. I work with Radio Free Europe, Radio Liberty. I work for Ariana Television Network. But nowadays, if I include my emotional, if I include my feeling, which is not a, a, a rule of a, a policy of a journalism, but I know and I understood everything. But this moment, a sensitive moment, if I crying, if I include my emotional, if I include my feeling, uh, forgive me, and I really apologize for that. I hope it's understanding, uh, understandable for everybody. But thank you so much. Well, Dr. thank you, and we continue to pray, and, and God bless you with good health. Thank you. Thank okay. you. That's very kind of you. Appreciate it. Yes, thank you. We read news every day. News that's informative, but rarely encouraging. The Intermountain Christian Newspaper aims to change that. They present the news you need to know, from what's going on in your community to your world, with encouraging words, motivation, and the resources you need to make positive changes in your life. What is your local government doing that you need to know about? What's happening in your community you need to be a part of? Whether it's a story from your neighborhood, a national story, or an encouraging word, you'll find biblical issues of everyday life in the Intermountain Christian Newspaper. Intermountain Christian News is produced and supported by the work and donations of individuals and churches. You'll find it at churches, Christian bookstores, by subscription, and online at imcnews.org. To find out more about supporting this local resource, go online at imcnews.org or call Intermountain Christian News in Boise, Idaho at 208-703-8688. The Intermountain Christian News, a voice sharing the truth on matters dear to people's hearts.